The pain of losing a patient, it's terrible. But the pain of losing someone unnecessarily because you didn't have the basic tools you need, there are no words for that. When a patient walks into a healthcare facility, the first step is to figure out what's making them sick. What are their symptoms? How long have they had them? But in many countries, clinicians don't have access to even the basic diagnostic tools and laboratory tests they need to accurately diagnose common health problems. But it's the rates of the undiagnosed that have researchers concerned. Just the thing that we try to stress is that early, early detection, early prevention. Vast distances and isolated communities make testing people extremely difficult. Every medical decision depends on appropriate diagnostics. Resistance is increasing all across the continent. At the national level and at big health facilities, we're able to do almost everything that is required for a patient almost any condition. And unfortunately, these small facilities have no equipment. Without diagnostics, primary care providers often have no choice but to use scattershot therapies. Even simple tests like hemoglobin, malaria, pregnancy tests, HIV and syphilis tests are not available in 98% of the facilities. Only 2% of facilities had all of these tests in 10 countries. While in vitro diagnostic tests influence approximately 70% of healthcare decisions, only 3 to 5% of healthcare budgets go to diagnostic services. How can we do better? WHO's Essential Diagnostics List, or EDL, is an evidence-based resource that any country can use to help prioritize diagnostics tests that should be available at each level of the healthcare system ranging from tests done in sophisticated laboratories to those used in doctor's rooms and clinics. The EDL is a starting point for countries and should be adapted to meet their unique health needs. In India, the National Essential Diagnostic List forms the basis of the Free Diagnostic Initiative of Government of India to improve the availability of diagnostics across different levels of healthcare, as well as to reduce the out-of-pocket expenditures on diagnostics for the patients. At primary health centers like doctor's offices and rural clinics, the EDL lists tests for high burden diseases like HIV, TB, or malaria, as well as tests like blood counts and basic metabolic tests. For larger clinics and laboratories, the EDL helps prioritize more sophisticated testing to diagnose complicated conditions like sepsis, cardiovascular disease, and certain cancers. Over the years, diagnostic testing has made an enormous impact on the health of patients around the world. Nowadays, we're thinking about the crucial role of diagnostics. An ordinary looking shipping container is in fact a high technology mobile laboratory. This is actually a fibroid and by looking under the screen I'm able to see the pattern of the cells and the shape of the cells. In just two hours, communicable diseases such as HIV and Hepatitis B can be detected by this blood diagnostic machine. Investing in diagnostics is cost-effective for the healthcare system. It permits accurate and speedy treatment of patients and can dramatically reduce future complications and hospitalizations. It helps prevent overprescription of therapeutics, helping reduce the fast rise of drug-resistant superbugs. And investing in diagnostic infrastructure, labs, technicians, equipment, helps us prepare for outbreaks when they do occur. The EDL alone is not enough. At the end of the day, the goal is to increase access to medical testing. In order to achieve that, the EDL has to be used as a guide to build diagnostic capacity in countries. One can't just provide the diagnostic tests. There are a lot of other factors to think about, like the people who will perform the tests, their training and competence. There's also the supply chain and the infrastructure required to transport these tests. 
This will require broad and sustained investment in diagnostic capacity at all levels of the healthcare system. WHO partners with countries to think strategically and pragmatically about their specific challenges and to come up with innovative ways to solve them. The strength of the EDL comes from its flexibility. Practically, each national essential diagnostics list will depend on many factors, including which diseases are most prevalent in that country, what resources are available, what labs a country may already have. What's important is that we work together to come up with the appropriate solutions and equip clinicians with the tools they need to care for their patients.